Hey guys, here with Sam. Hi Sam. Hi, Juan. How are you going? Good, <laughs> good. Uh, today we're going to talk really quickly about why brand voice and tone of voice is so important for your business, your brand and everything in between. So really quickly, the first thing is like imagine when you meet a person for the first time. Uh, you always get a little bit of a sense of their energy, what they're about, a little bit of their personality and to some extent their values. So this is one of the reasons why you should keep these in mind. Yeah, and the same goes for a brand, which brings us to reason number two. You know, being able to clearly define their voice, the tone, the words that, that we use, you know, the same with meeting somebody. That's what uh, that's how they express who they are and what we stand for as a business. Mm, that's 100%. And the other one that I think is really important is, we hear this word a lot, which is consistency, but consistency doesn't mean to be, doesn't mean same. Uh, I feel like brands need to learn how to be dynamic into how they present their content and their information, depending on their channel, still having that consistency. So if you talk to Juan or Sam, uh, we're always the same people. It just depends on the scene we're in, right? So be consistent with your content and your voice, tone of voice, but make sure you are contextual to where uh, are you talking and what type of audience you're trying to reach in those channels. Yeah, that's right. And once you get that, you need to put it into a guide because then you get everybody on the same page. You get all your team members on the same page. You've got this guide, you've got a list of uh, what you're meant to sound like, what points you're meant to hit, the tone you're meant to take for different media and different channels, which can vary. And then um, also what words you use and what words you don't use. It's really interesting. Get everyone all on the same page. That's a good one and really important because we know a lot of brands tend to take shortcuts on these moments and we know Abby behind the scenes on the camera. Hi, Abby. Uh, needs to use that for the socials and make sure that she follows the rules on the melon world, right? Um, the other one is like, it definitely helps to give a bit of a spike and a little bit of a flair around your brand. And then it allows you to try to, uh, try to build a little bit of uniqueness around it. And we know now the world is just building content so fast that you really wanna spend some time on your tone of voice, on your uh, brand voice. So you know how to stand out and you know, like make sure your personality comes across properly. Mm. I think that's it, Sam. Anything yeah, else? well, just be creative, you know. If, even if you're in B2B space, don't be boring. Be creative. Don't Speak be... like a friend. Be like someone that people want to hang out with. Yes, 100%. Keep it human, keep it personal, don't be boring. That's it. Bye, Bye. guys! Chicka bam bam, Blue Melon. <laughs>